The export command of ACL allows you to export data in a variety of formats, and it could be a DBF or you know DBase format, which many people may not use anymore, Excel formats, uh, text-based format, delimited files, comma-separated files, you name it. Now, I also wanted to show a little bit more of a complex uh, export, but yet uh, I think a very effective tool where you may have data that is too different and you don't really want to append it using extract append or merge append because it's just going to take too long to, to do that. It's better almost sometimes to export the data and combine them together uh, outside of Excel or ACL, which can be done in Excel. Uh, normally, I do it in a text editor, which we'll show you. And uh, once you've done that in this, say, text editor, what you can then do is bring back the data into ACL and start analyzing it there. So let's walk through uh, the basic export and then this more complex export append type feature. Now back in ACL and, and taking a look at this paid invoice file, we first can do a simple export. So we're going to go data export. And you have a few different options here. And obviously, this is your view screen. And we're going to show some different options where you, you can't really just start. You, you have to select something. You have to select either the view, which is kind of like the record in, in ACL's case here, uh, if you were doing an extract or you go to the fields option where you could select all the fields by selecting add all or you could bring over just certain fields for analysis but in our case I'm going to clear all and then add all just keep it simple now in the different types of options it sort of brings up different options below if I go export access there's no real options it just exports it you could export to the clipboard which will open your clipboard. You it can export this DBase 3 format, which used to be a very popular format and, and something that you would open up in Excel, but we don't do it that much anymore. You have the delimited format where you could export an, into a variety of delimited formats here. And, and actually, you can add whatever delimiter you'd like here. A lot of people will use, say, this, this tilde mark uh, because that's very uncommon in data. Or you can, you know, what I tend to use is more of a tab delimited file with no text qualifier. But again, you can put a tab in there or uh, the quotes, and then this would surround any sort of text that you might have. I usually do tab none. Be careful though, you'll want to export with field names, so that's something to consider. And I, I actually use the Unicode product today so that if you needed to export it in Unicode format, you would select Unicode in this, this case, but we're not going to do that for, for our purposes. We are going to export with field names, tab, uh, with none here. And what I will do is I will create a file called export tab delimited. And we'll just keep that there. Now, let's go back to that export feature. I wanted to, while we were going down the list, get that one done. But now, back to the list here, we have Excel format, which now in the new version of ACL, version 9.23 uh, is, I believe, what I'm running. The Excel uh, 07 to 10 is uh, an option which allows you to get up to about a million records. So, you know, exporting now to Excel is not going to be limited like it was in the past to, say, 65,000 rows or Excel 2.1. I think it allows past, the, the, it used to be like 9,000 or 10,000. And uh, so you probably, best bet, just start selecting the newer format. And I'm assuming most people have gotten up to 2007 by now in Excel. A text format is something where you can export with field names and what that's going to do is create a fixed file based on the start and lengths that you had in your data. So we have a start here of you know 169 for 4 that will be then put into that text file. We're not going to do that today but that is a format. And then XML, if you do have XML readers and, and need to import data that way that's also a great option. So we, we've gone through a variety of these options in, in discussion form here. Uh, I went back to the tab none delimited because I wanted to, to just show you this option and we've exported that. 
in the more button just to kind of take a look here and generally speaking we could have a pen to existing file if there was an existing file and uh, we're, we're just going to export all we don't need the first this or last that so that that's fine so I'm going to cancel that out and now to in addition to the export which we're going to take a look at that result we can also talk about the export append now we have this this prior paid invoice file difference so if we had the paid invoice file and we want to append the prior paid invoice file to that item just notice I have diff at the end of here and the reason I have that and we'll just show you here I'm gonna run a display command notice everything here is ASCII okay so everything here is ASCII let me go back to the paid invoice file that we just exported and run a display command and notice all these different types and formats. So that's one thing here. We, we need to be careful when we have all these types and formats because when it's in one file but not the other file that is going to create issues for you and something that you're going to need to correct for. So I, I created a little Excel summary here to show you those differences and again this is where we can have a bit of an if statement set up to calculate the differences between the two files and you should also be looking at starts and lengths but what's nice about the export feature is a lot of this doesn't really matter if you have different type data even if you had a start and length let's say the length of the check date is 20 even in this other file it really doesn't matter as long as it's delimited and we'll talk about that but again a delimiter is going to be put in between general ledger reference and check date check date and check number the delimiter of a tab will be placed in there same thing here so that at the end of this regardless of the the data format or the length those delimiters or parsing tools will be placed in between the fields so we can in essence create a text file now that has both sets of data within it. So let's go to my text editor and what we're going to do is open up this file. So if I just reopen a file that I just opened up a little while ago, this is the tab delimited file that we just had a, a few seconds ago. Again we have our data and interestingly enough here we have a tab and if I even go to a find here if I highlight that and go to a find notice how you see the tab actually in the data here I'm using this product EditPad Pro but there's Notepad++ there's all these different products I would probably suggest not using Notepad that comes with your computer um, I would probably go up to one of these other products take a look there's some free ones out there we can go to the next one, the next one, the next one. You notice how, see, these tabs are all placed within the file, and these parse that table no matter what is said, you know, uh, no matter what the field format is, and no matter what the length is in that data table. So I have one of these open. Let me go back to my ACL and now take this difference file. Again, this is the one where we have different ASCII field types. Uh, I can try to get a little crazy here. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. It's just going to add maybe like a different field length. But I, I will tell you, if there's different field lengths, it does work. And uh, what I can do, I mean, I can do one of two things. But I, I generally export the fields again, add all. You kind of have to make sure that the fields are in the same order, or at least, you know, another way of, of making sure of that is you can go back to the export that you just did a second ago and bring it up in the dialog except this time we're gonna call it you know delimited old or something like that and that's going to create a different file name so that might be a safer way to make sure that you're exporting the data in a proper format now back to my text editor I can now open up the other export file that I just had so now this is the old this is the delimited okay what I could do I can I can start from the top if I'd like to but I could also start from here just drag all the way down and go back to this other table drag all the way down 
these text editors are great for for looking at all your data as well uh, in in some sort of you know safe format I guess uh, and and be able to kind of scroll it all so now I you know I not only have these record numbers you'll see the record numbers start over here right about here right now this is where I have the old or or the the old data listed here and again going all the way down to there and now that I have this I can save as and call it you know export tab delimited all let me just close my text editor all I did again was copy the old paste it to the new just another note here I just noticed something if you didn't want to export the second one with field names like we did you you would just get the data without the the field headers uh, to be honest I like to do it just because I like to see it in my edit pad pro and be able to know what fields I had and now I'm going to import that new table so let's let's walk through this import process I have the all feature which interestingly enough if you look at the kilobytes should be about you know that one plus that one minus the first row is about you know 184 minus 1 equals 183 okay that makes sense we'll open that up it is a delimited file oops sorry about that and now that I have my data opened up here I'm gonna say yes it is tab delimited there is no text qualifier I mean if, if it didn't know this like if it's, it came in as comma you can always select tab notice now it parses the data regardless of date format or text format or anything like that and I can then create a new file called maybe I'll call it now imported all and with that data table imported again I am utilizing the uh, the Unicode format of ACL but uh, with that said uh, you may be not using that format uh, but uh, with that said I've now brought in this data table and you know as I scroll down I have all of my data now listed in one set data table for analysis